Welcome to this weekly COVID-19 update. My name is Dr. Agnes Mahomva, the Chief Coordinator for the National Response to COVID-19 Pandemic here in Zimbabwe. By the end of this week, Zimbabwe's cumulative number of COVID-19 cases remained low compared to other countries in the region and globally. The, to the total of, uh, a total rather, of uh, about 1,841 are active cases. Most of them are mild and hence isolating at home. Zimbabwe has, however, experienced an increase in new COVID-19 cases and deaths over the past two weeks. This prompted government to put in place additional stringent uh, prevention measures that were announced and published last week in SI 170 of 2021. Marshall and West Province has been affected the most by this resurgence. The province recorded the highest case fatality rate. Hotspots in this province include uh, Mangura, Chinoi, and Chidamoyo districts. The surge in cases and deaths that Zimbabwe is currently experiencing has also been reported in uh, several countries in the Africa region. The African continent has, however, continued to have the world's lowest number of COVID-19 infections and deaths. On the other hand, the continent is not doing so well in terms of managing critically ill COVID-19 cases. A recent scientific study titled the Africa COVID-19 Critical Care Outcome Study, ACOS, uh, or ACOS, uh, published in the Lancet of last month, that is May 2021, uh, indicated that Africa has the highest global mortality rate among critically ill COVID-19 patients compared to all the other regions. Data from this study suggests that most countries uh, in this survey had a low volume critical care capacity. Zimbabwe is no exception. It is, however, important to remind ourselves that a lot of progress has been made in strengthening our health systems, especially our critical care facilities throughout the country. A national intra-action review that was conducted in September and October 2020, that is uh, towards the end of last year, indicated that whilst case management and isolation facilities in Zimbabwe were initially designated at the two main national infectious diseases hospitals. Additional case management and isolation facilities, including some private facilities, were identified in each of all the 10 provinces and the major urban areas. More work is, however, required um, and is, of course, in progress to further strengthen case management, especially our critical care capacity. In the meantime, let us once again remember that the prevention is always better than any treatment or cure. It is also cheaper, especially in view of the high cost required for critical care. We need to adhere to all the recommended uh, COVID-19 prevention measures. These measures have contributed to the general no low number of cumulative cases recorded here in Zimbabwe and indeed recorded on the Africa continent as a whole. Uh, and when we compare that to other continents and other regions uh, worldwide. Let us continuously remind each other to, first of all, social distance. Remember, all gatherings except funerals have been banned. If you must meet for a workshop, conference, or whatever it might be, do so through uh, virtual platforms. This is really the new normal. Continue to wash your hands frequently with soap and running water, or you could just frequently sanitize with alcohol-based sanitizers. Always, always wear a face mask properly to prevent uh, uh, getting the infection, to uh, protect yourself and, of course, your loved ones. Do get vaccinated. Remember, and I want to repeat, remember, vaccination helps prevent severe disease. It pre helps prevent hospitalization into those critical care units I've just talked about. Uh, it helps prevent death. 
finally and once again prevention is better than any treatment any critical care or any cure it is the best cost effective way of protecting yourself your community and zimbabwe uh, as a whole thank you